None of us are great at anything or everything. And I think the higher power made us that way so we would need each other. And oftentimes in work, people will hold people up to standards of perfection rather than to what they're good at. So someone might say, well, I'd be a better customer service manager than that. It's like, well, yeah, maybe you'd be better um, on in discipline than you are on rah-rah, but maybe in that department it needs more rah-rah than discipline, meaning in the aspect of, and I think um, kind of guiding people to look at other people that way uh, you can't look at it that if I was in that role, I would do, it would, I, you might do certain things better, but there might be also byproducts that might not be as good. And so, and I always looked at it, uh, uh, you know, trying to get the right people in the right seats on the truck. And if, uh, one of the things I picked up from good to great was, uh, if you, if someone's working for you and you would hire them again, then you have the right person. If you're frustrated with them, you have them in the wrong seat. And if you wouldn't hire them again, you should just give, you should part ways because they're holding up your life, you're holding up their life. And um, in the aspect is because sometimes really good people just you don't match. You know, it doesn't mean they're bad people, just they don't match. And I think to to grow learning to work with people from all sorts of backgrounds with all sorts of different strengths. Because I'm not great, I, there's a few things I'm good at and some of them are naturally, like I'm really good at seeing patterns, it's hard to explain. Um, you know, I, when I was 10, I turned over, I was the first kid in the area to turn over Pac-Man because it's a pattern. Um, but other people have other strengths, you follow me? And so I always had people around me that are really good and of course, as a leader, I need to ask for help, meaning, Sometimes a leader, you look at it, and you've got to be like the best at everything. But you can't, you know, you can't be the best. You can't be the best at everything. Um, as a leader, you can be good at a few things. And some people maybe have the capacity and more bandwidth to be great at ninety percent of the things they do. But the reality of it is, most of us need people around us. So I have a question: As an entrepreneur, can you give us a story of some? situation or a time in your building your business that you failed and what did that look like and how did you come back from that? Um, I think there's a lot of uh, failures along the way. Um, I'm trying to think of a few that come, come off the... Uh, well, for example, we got going and we were selling truck accessories and we were putting car parts off and someone said, well, why don't we um, sell some other stuff. So, so we kind of got into motor oil and then the next thing you know, there was a dog food on the website. The next thing you know, um, you know, where we were like going really, really wide and um, where it was like we put a lot of resources into this and it wasn't like nobody's going to come to, I think it was like we kind of thought like, you know, like uh, to kind of be Cabela-esque, you know, have more than uh, which, by the way, I think, uh, so anyway, that, and so it was like, this is train wreck, we had all this stuff on the website that really didn't fit, and we kind of had to backpedal, because of course we went to partners and, you know, got them on board, and it's like, nah, this isn't going to work, and, um, and, but there's numerous uh, stories of that along the way. One thing I'll, I think the, on, when it comes to businesses and is going to that aspect of being helpful. Everybody knows Gander Mountain, they went broke, right? Gander Mountain, how they sold was buy, buy, buy. Buy, 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 10%, buy, 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 buy. And Shields, which is a company in our area, brick and mortar, and then of course you have Cabela's, it's a mixture. But both of those companies help people do whatever it is they do better. Shields helps you sport better, hunt better, camp better, and they also sell the stuff to do that. And so does Cabela's. They, they spend a lot of time trying to help you do whatever you do better. And so it gets back to that useful, be useful in your marketing. And, uh, and I think people will sometimes reciprocate and buy your product if you're useful to them. And uh, whereas if you lead with buy, 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 which is what Gander Mountain did, your website was that way, your stores were that way, uh, they didn't do so hot because people want more than just buy from you.